So macOS Monterey announced this spring is finally available today for everyone to download. And as with any update, you want to know what's new. This year there's going to be a mix of updates, some of which are immediately apparent and other ones are more under the hood but good for peace of mind. Either way, we're going to go through all of it, so stick around and use the chapters down below if you want to skip to a specific feature. So some significant changes are coming to Safari this year, but the most noticeable one is actually turned off by default. Open Safari, then go to Preferences, then go to Tabs. By default, you're on separate, but now we've got a compact mode where immediately the tab bar changes to a smaller layout where all the tabs stay in line and compress. Now, in my opinion, this looks better, but by default, it's not turned on, so you'll have to manually enable it if you want to use it. The other thing to note is that compact view takes on the color of the website that you're viewing, so you can see here it's a bold red, but if I change it back, the color goes away. Switching over to the sidebar, we've got a new option to create a tab group, which basically groups all the tabs you have open into their own section. So here I have all of the tabs open, then if I click my tech tab group, you can see it changes to only the tech sites that I commonly browse. If I go back to my original, the tabs are all still there and they exist, they're just filtered into their own section. It is actually a really nice way to organize all of your tabs, especially if there's ones you're commonly using like for work or for personal, but of course people will use this for a variety of different ways. Oh, and also you can hover your cursor over specific tabs to see a preview of that tab. Really nice touch. Now what would a new OS update look like without brand new wallpapers? Here you can see all of the different wallpapers that are included in macOS Monterey. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. You also now have the ability to airplay to your Mac as if it were an airplay speaker. So that means you can cast any of your audio, video, even keynote presentations from a compatible Apple device to your Mac as if it was a speaker. Now this one's my favorite because it's actually been so inconvenient for so long. So now with macOS Monterey, it recognizes a stereo pair of HomePods as one speaker. Previously, you'd go to the soundbar and you would see two HomePods with the same name. Now they're grouped together as they're supposed to be, and you can finally select it to be your output for your Mac. Now FaceTime also has some big changes in macOS Monterey, just like with iOS where you can create a link to a FaceTime, and then someone can join on their iOS device or even a Windows or Android computer. And then when you're on that call, you've also got spatial audio improvements. So the sound will be a lot more 3D rather than this just standard flat sound that's just coming from the computer. And with that, there's gonna be some upcoming enhancements to the audio of your FaceTime calls where it better isolates your voice and gets rid of all the background noise. They're also introducing a grid mode for all of your videos. So once you have a bunch of people on your FaceTime call, they stack in a much more natural way than they did before where they were sort of just floating around. In messages, you've got a brand new way to share photos. So rather than them sharing as one individual photo at a time, they stack into a cluster and then you can just swipe through them to view all of them. A really nice way to condense those messages, especially if you're sending a lot of them. Before the update, I was always sending my photos through Messenger because they stacked into a grid. So now that this works in a very similar way, I'm more inclined to use messages which is a great feature to have. Focus mode is also coming to Mac, just like it did with iOS 15. It doesn't really go as in depth as iOS does where it doesn't change the home screen or anything like that, but it does allow you to customize the notifications from other people and alerts when they try to message you. So upcoming changes to notes in Mac OS. Now you can move your mouse to the bottom right corner of your screen and you can make a quick note which pops up, allows you to, just like it sounds, take a quick note if you're in a hurry to create that without opening the app. You can also add hashtags to notes which will automatically categorize them into tabs, making them a lot easier to find. And if you're collaborating on a note, there's now an activity tab where it highlights exact changes that are made by each person. So expect notes to be a lot more organized but also a lot more collaborative than it previously was. Live text, one of my favorite features of iOS, is now also coming to macOS Monterey meaning you can open just a standard flattened JPEG image and you can see here, I can actually copy the text out of it. And again, it is a JPEG that's flattened. And with that, you're also gonna get the phone number recognition and object recognition, just like you had on iOS. So you could just click on a phone number and make a call or click on an email and immediately start to send a message to them. Lastly, we've got shortcuts coming to the Mac, and a lot of people may not be familiar with this one, but we've had it on iOS for a while, and it's really exciting to get these new automations in Mac. It is part of a migration as they get rid of Automator and shift everything over to shortcuts. And if you have no idea how to use shortcuts, like most people, there's actually a gallery here that you can use to browse the most popular ones, and it's a really good way to get started. 
Here you can see there's this split screen one, which has two apps with just one click. Just select the two apps you want. Here I'm going to use Safari and Notes. And then I can move that over to my menu bar so that it's easier to access. As you can see, when I click on it, it immediately opens them side by side. I'm really surprised to see that it doesn't work to put them into full screen in split screen like you can see here, but still it's an easy way to click and just automate that whole process, cutting down on the amount of clicks you need to do. So that's the largest changes to macOS Monterey. It's not a huge update, but there are a lot of refinements as they make the system more stable and a lot easier to use, minimizing clicks and keeping things organized. Let me know in the comments which feature is your favorite. While you're down there, remember to hit the like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next one.